Princess be a bad bitch. You don't want cereal? No. What you want? What you want me to make? Um, wall cakes. Wall cakes. Wall cakes? And what else? Uh, strawberry, strawberries. Strawberries? And what else? Uh, banana, banana. You want bacon? Banana! Okay. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. We probably already got going into the video with us waking up, brushing our teeth. Usually, I've been more on the lazy side, so I've just been giving her some cereal. She has been waking up earlier, so he'll just like fix her something if she wakes up, because she usually like does wake up when he wakes up, and then she just ends up falling back asleep. But she want me to get up here and make her some wa wa some waffles. That's what she meant to say when she. I don't know what she calls it. So I got my little mini waffle maker here. And if y'all hear that noise in the back, that's Chi back there working. His um, shop is in the back of the house. So y'all probably gonna hear some noises back there. I got my pancake mix. Whoa. We got some eggs. I don't think I'm gonna make eggs because she usually doesn't even eat them, but I gotta put it in the mix. I got bacon. 
Tell them, tell them your and we got the milk to mix it with. Tell them your and then she said she wanted strawberries. So luckily I had literally just went to the grocery store yesterday yesterday. So I had stocked up you stocked check, up on check, some. Check. You a check. You a jerk. Huh? You a jerk. I know. Put so we up. honestly don't need that much because it's only me and her. Let me see. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make it in the mixing bowl. I think that should be enough for us. And we're gonna do one egg. I'm gonna add some milk. Add some milk. And mix. She gonna want to mix. Faster, please. We never gonna eat breakfast with that motion. Okay, I'm ready. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe out. Shake that ass, speed up, go fast, slow down. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe out. Shake that ass, speed up, go fast, slow down. Slow down. All right, so Tazana food is done. So she usually likes me to turn on the TV for her to watch um, her little cartoons in the morning. So while she does that, I usually just sit here and chill and get some relaxing time. Scoop, 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 or if I'm like working or something, I'll just go on my computer. But since I made something for breakfast, I'm gonna just go ahead and eat a waffle and some bacon. And then I like to clean up around the house in the morning. Cause that's usually when it's like a little messy. And I just like to get like the house situated, especially if I'm like going out later. So then I can know I'm coming back to a clean house. So that's probably what I'll do later after I eat. Hey guys, so it's been a few. Um, I ate my breakfast and I've just been sitting here chilling. Tazana's just been playing around with Tiny. So we're gonna go ahead and do some tidying up around the house. And then I think I'm gonna hop in a shower. Today I actually have a hair appointment because we're supposed to be having a hair shoot Sunday. Today is Thursday. So my appointment is until 5.30, but I wanna wash my hair out after I get done cleaning up. Cause it's not a lot really to clean up. And then I think I'm going to show you guys my nighttime routine as well since I'm doing morning routine. I don't think I've actually sat down and told you guys what was happening since we had got straight into like the routine. So I'm showing you guys my morning routine and my nighttime routine. Because you guys always ask me, especially I guess because of Tazana since I have like a baby. You guys just want to know like my routine. But it's pretty much normal. 
I feel like I have a, like a normal routine. Sometimes I get up first, sometimes she gets up first, and we take a minute to finally get out of bed, brush our teeth, decide on breakfast. Sometimes I don't cook, like I said, she just gets her cereal or eats other stuff, like little fruit cups, apple sauces, and stuff like that. And then we just chill and then um, clean up around the house. But sometimes I don't clean up around the house and that's when it starts to get crazy but then once i do do a deep clean that's when i'm like okay i'm gonna start cleaning every day the only thing that i didn't do was make my bed i don't usually make my bed all the time unless i'm like really going out and i know i'm gonna be gone all day so then when i come back home i can just you know come home to like a made up bed and i just ain't been really feeling like my sheets like i get tired of washing the same sheets and putting my same sheets back on the bed so i honestly think i'm gonna try to see if i can make it to get some new comforter sheets so i can put those on when i do my nighttime routine like who doesn't love new sheets so i might try to leave the house earlier so we can run to the store first and then head to my hair appointment so right now i'm gonna just show you guys um tidying up a bit which is really not a lot like i said this is what the living room looks like right now. I'm just have to tidy that up. She has to put her table up. And y'all, this rug is not staying down. Like, we've tried so many stuff and it's not staying down and it's really irking my soul. This is what my office is looking like right now. So I have to tidy this up a bit. This is pretty much clean the living room. Um, then Tazana room, she has a bit of stuff around here. So we're just gonna. So, well, she's going to do it. She's about to be mad. Tazana, you need to clean your room. No. Yeah, you are. So, she's just going to fix this up. And then after we're done, like I said, I'm going to get in the shower. And then I'll check in with you guys. What you fucked up? Where the love go? Five, four, three, two, I let one go. Spout, get you fucked up. I don't fuck, bro. Aim it like you hit it. I can fuck you up. What you fucked up? Where the love go? Five, four, three, two, I let one go. Spout, get you fucked up. I don't fuck, bro. Aim it like you hit it. I can fuck you up. What you fucked up? Where the love go? Five, four, three, two, I let one go. It's a shit show. What you fucked up? Fuck shit, bro. Fuck shit, bro. Money on the bitches. guys so i just got out a quick shower i'm about to make a quick little coffee just because i feel like it wouldn't be a morning routine without one this is tazana i give her a little bit just because she wants to do everything i do i need to stop on some coffee i just want a little bit give her like the cold foam that i make so for my cold foam i use whipping cream 
Add a little bit in there. I add a little bit of vanilla. That was a lot. And then I add a little bit of my creamer. I've been using the toffee nut latte. I got this towel on my head because I'm trying to make sure it dries enough for my appointment. And then use my frother. I like mine's a little thick. So then I just put it on there. So that's a little watery, but oh well. I kind of like it thicker. Tell me you thick. For what? And then I just add cinnamon on top. Do y'all hear this little girl? Wow, so cute. Yeah, so cute. All right. So this is what it looks like. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm actually about to get dressed and get ready to head out. Use my hair, but y'all know I have washed it and it's still kind of wet in the middle. But I think it's because I had it up. I'm currently a little late to my appointment, but I'm on the way there. I had to stop by to get us something to eat from Chick fil A. And um, as you guys seen, I went to Marshall's. Can y'all tell I'm back in my car? Like, have y'all been noticing? I ain't been in my car, but if y'all follow me on Twitter. It's loud as car. Let me roll my window fucking up. So if y'all follow me on Twitter, then y'all seen me tweet like a while ago. Like I just fucked my car up. Long story short, I side swiped my car on my side. My door is effed up. She be driving my car sometimes and he backed into something and my tail light is broke. It's like cracked. So it just has like a whole bunch of little like little stuff here and there that makes me like feel like my car is not cute well i just don't want to drive in it and it's not like cute from the outside i've just had it parked and i've just been driving his cheap car until he can get to fixing my car because my car is already pink so it already catches attention and then like when they look at my car they'll be like damn my car effed up he had to get something done with his tires so i'm just like i'm gonna just drive my car but we're supposed to be getting it fixed soon. I just been having it on pause because it is some parts that I have to order. And I just don't want to be spending that right now. And I do want to get some new wheels for my car as well. Like I want to get some new rims. So I just felt like I might as well just do it like all the way. I don't know if I'm going to be back driving it though. Because I did say I was just going to park it and not drive it until it gets fixed. But I don't know. You missed the pink car? <laughs> I feel like Tazana likes it better when we're like in a four door because it's like more space and she gets to like look out the window because she likes doing that. She likes like rolling her window down or whatever. She can't do that when we're in my two door car. I was just um checking with you guys once I get to my hair appointment.
y'all so i am home from getting my hair done and i don't know if you guys could see my hair good because the camera literally died when she was recording my hair but this is what it looks like we add a little bit of pink in there and then pink on the sides right here so cute so these are like some tribal braids i think i did mention that it's like a braided um photo shoot and she also gave me a goodie bag she gave me the long bonnet and it says Nita bone braids and bedazzle because period so i'm gonna actually put this on tonight and then this is like a regular bonnet and then i think it's like a rever reversible if you want so it's like red satin and then pink she also gave me a is it an edge band and then this is a do-rag and then she gave a purple edge brush her business card which i most likely already tagged on the screen make sure to check her out y'all gonna see all of our different um styles she does on us when we go to the extra shoot i told you guys that i wanted to show you guys our nighttime routine as well which tazana actually ended up falling asleep in a car so it's gonna be a little different but usually when it's like just us i like to do a uh, late night cleaning but since we was gone all day it's still clean from what we cleaned earlier so i don't have to do that and then i would just take my makeup off i'm gonna put the new comforter sheets on the bed i usually do like if i don't make the bed in the morning i'll just do it before we lay down so i'm gonna take those sheets off and put these before we go to bed we always eat or we'll get like a little snack or whatever she actually bought us some food he got us some tacos uh, and she's probably gonna sleep throughout the night so i'm gonna go ahead and take my old sheets off and put these new ones on I wash my face with the micellar water. I don't know if I'm saying it right. And I just have some pads here. And then I just wipe my face with it. And I literally only have concealer, so it shouldn't be too much to it. If I usually have makeup, I use this on my face to like get in there and then i use this oil cleansing solution because i heard it's good to clean your face with an oil based first and then with your regular i guess cleaner which i'll just after i use that oil based one i'll just clean my face with dove i don't really have a routine though like a facial routine but i'll just do that to like get that makeup off there because i know makeup is hard to get off so since I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put the long bonnet that she gave me. These are going to go perfect, especially when I get my wigs too. So I tuck the braids in there. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and change my clothes though. Put this on in the bed. I'm going to eat my food. I'll probably watch something on the TV until I get sleepy and call it a night. So this is pretty much my night routine and it will go like totally different if tazana was up i'd just be having a wait on her to get tired or whatever but anyways guys good night hey guys i'm out with the girls we're about to get something to eat real quick we went to get our nails done me and nana i got white nails and, and they i got text us <laughs> show them your nails well she got her toes done i'm sure I got cherry toes that Tammy told me to get. Cute. You like them, Tazana? I told the lady to do. Damn, it's, it's Wendy. Cold. I told the lady to do white nails on me, and I think she understood to do French tip on me too. Because yeah. I was telling them about Nana's design. So she did French, but I ain't feel like complaining. 
We about to get something to eat real quick. The hair is giving. It's just want to be cute and cold. <laughs> right? It's cold. And we downtown. Downtown with the action. Ah! <laughs> walking. Look, everybody just be walking. Hey y'all, so we put up to j and M house because they're having a little fiesta for their dad because it was his birthday. When was his birthday? Monday. His birthday was Monday, so they celebrating today. So we pulled up. Camera dead, she about to go home. Tazana's dead too. We about to party. Nah, nah. Jay don't cut his hair, y'all. No, his you cut beard. his beard. Look. <laughs> he look 15. Right, he look young. So we about to come in here and turn up. left a little early um last night from my uncle's little birthday celebration so we was just home and then ended up falling asleep we're finally up in dress i just have on this skims outfit in the color umber um i just have planned to get some content so it's really just like instagram pics i'm planning to do probably like two looks so i actually have my bag packed with my outfits and y'all look at this bag it's so freaking cute karen actually got this for me for valentine's i never got to show it to you guys because she did give it to me a little late so this is so freaking cute because y'all know i have a little pink in my hair so i'm just gonna set it off i do think i'm gonna try to make it to a craft store because i do have a sister date that i have planned so i'm gonna see if i make it but i'm not sure if i'm gonna actually make it because now that i'm thinking about it hobby lobby does close early so yep scratch that we're not gonna make it i'm gonna just head out because the girls do have to get their hair done today i have to try to catch nana before she leaves to her hair appointment so i'll just check in with you guys once like i'm taking my pictures all right y'all so we made it to our destination this is the first fit hold her on the side like this on the side 
Second location. This is the second fit. I don't know if we're gonna do these shoes again or white forces. We're gonna see. Let me set y'all up. shooting my little content um as you guys seen i did two little outfits i just came to get something to eat real quick and then we're just gonna head home and i have to work i'm working on one of my sister's videos and then i'll probably start working on this vlog if i get the chance to we're at the same um sushi spot i came to in my last vlog so yeah we're just here tazana has this little coloring activity stuff that she got going on that I had got for her. It came with this cute little mini mouse bag. So we're just gonna eat and then head home. And this is pretty much my whole day, to be honest. I'm way too exclusive. I don't shop on Insta boutiques. All the little ass clothes only fit fake booties. Bad bitch, still talking cash shit. I feel like water. I'm a mother and relaxing. I would never trip on a nigga if I had him. Bitch, that's my trash. You the maid, so you bag him. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie. All I'm showing. I keep my niggas private, so it's AP all I'm showing. Beefing with you bitches, really getting kind of boring. If it ain't about the money, then you know I'm gonna ignore it. I'm the shit. I need a mop to clean the floors. Too much drip. Too much drip. I keep it not. I keep a watch. I keep a whip. Let's play a game. Something says I'm still that bitch. Ay, I'm still that bitch. Yeah. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, Gucci, ratchet. Yeah. Sassy, moody, nasty. Good morning guys, today is Sunday. Today is the shoot day. It is early in the morning. I'm actually heading out to go to my um, makeup appointment with Pam. We're just doing a light, light beat. I did my edges already. Cause I'm already having my makeup done. 
So I'm gonna just check in with you guys once I get to Pam's. Um, the shoot isn't supposed to start till three, but you know we gotta drive out 30 minutes, so we're probably gonna leave around like two ish, just to be on time, cause you know we always late. <laughs> Karen, show them your style. She got hearts. I got lemonade. Oh, uh, lemonade hearts. It's Claudia. She got hearts all over. Hold on, I don't know if they can see. Yeah, they can see. She got hearts all over. Hearts on the side. Then we got the little crazy designs in the middle. Yeah. I got the tribals. This is Nana style. She's got the jumbo. Not this. Everybody dressed except me and Claudia. So we are dressed. Giving buddy. Let me show you guys the girls. Yeah, that's my number one chick. Yeah, my main. The one that always had my back. Yeah, my main. With me and my babe broke up. Yeah, my main. She beat the chick up on sight. Yeah, my main. And don't let her get turned up. Yeah, my main. She my hit her for a reason. I can tell you. Click, click. Yeah, push it, push it. Click, click. Yeah, with me keep on wishing, baby. Bust it open, fish. Want another nigga? I go fishing, baby. Yeah, I hop on top and ride that dicky, lady. Hey, did my ping bob Marley? I got a whole army ass Charlie. Yeah, all these PR stunts, but bitch, you ain't put through the thing, yeah. Fresh and twisty, twist on my limbo. You know you bad when you gon' post from any angle. So I've been home from the shoot. When we had got done, Nana and Karen were taking pictures and I just came home. We well, honestly met Chi at the lake because he was with Tazana while I was at the shoot. So he was with her. She ended up falling asleep in the car. I did have another activity in mind, but she ended up falling asleep in the car. And it was like an outside activity and it is kind of chilly and she's still like bouncing back from her little clothes and then i had in mind to do like her pedicure her manicure 
because I actually had bought some cute little stickers from Sally's when I went to buy my dye and she ended up finding them and when I was looking for them earlier they're ruined they're gone and I wanted to go buy some more since we're going to be staying in but it's Sunday so everything is closed early and then I literally just started my cycle like as soon as I got home so just feeling under the weather anyways so yeah I'm kind of bummed out I'm all cute I didn't even get to take pictures anyways what well, I mean I did get content yesterday i'm probably just gonna take my makeup off and be chilling because like i said tazana is sleeping so i'll just talk to you guys tomorrow most likely hey guys it is the next day we are out and about i actually just left from hobby lobby because i told you guys that i had a sister date plan well what i wanted to do it was kind of like an art um type of vibe so we needed like some canvases and i was texting the chat like who's all down to do it um type stuff and nobody was really replying so i just wasn't gonna be standing there like looking stupid long story short i just didn't have time to do all that mess i'm just not gonna do it i know i did mention to you guys yesterday that i wanted to do um tazana's manny and pedicure so i actually ordered something from amazon that got delivered so i'll show you guys when i get home i really just want those little kitty nail art that i did um get for her but she messed up so i'm gonna just go back to sally's and grab those and then actually stop at the grocery store to get something for dinner and then head back home and we should do that right now i'm sitting in chick-fil-a in line getting some lunch for us so once i do these little stops we should head home we are finally back home i went to the grocery store like i told you guys i already put my stuff up i feel like i always go to the grocery store and at walmart i got to find this kitty nail art kit so these are the little nail arts we got some hearts some little kittens some unicorns and rainbows and then some little ice creams and stuff i bought this unicorn file then just a pink buffer and then i just bought this whole kit with different gel colors usually when she gets her nails done we get gel if she were to get regular nail polish she would just mess it up this whole kit comes with a little nail dryer for gel this is a little machine the cords it came with some files this stuff has like a little cleaner some nail clips i believe Oh, to like soak the polish off, I think. Has like some kits. And I believe this brought some nail art as well. But I really love how it already comes with like all these different colors. Literally. We about to get started on her. Susanna, you ready? Yeah. Which one you want? This one or this one? This one. This one? Yeah. She chose this one. Oh, seven.
ice creams. Um, um this. The little, yeah. okay. We're gonna go with the little hearts. I was trying to me, Mom. Yeah. It didn't start it. So cute. Go put, go, put, go put the star ones. Let's go right here. They're so nice. Yeah. It's a heart. We found the three stars, mommy. Oh, it's not gonna fit. The heart. Three hearts. Yeah, yeah. Three hearts, mommy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three of them. A fish mommy. Okay, wait, give me a minute. Here, here you try all ones. Yeah, give me a minute. Stop you moving. I'm gonna mess it up. Stop moving. Okay, well, let me mess it up. Okay, so we are done with Tizana nails, and this is what they look like. She got her little stickers on all of them. Tizana, do you like your nails? Uh, yes. I, I like my earrings. Earring. We're not asking about your earrings. We're talking about your nails. Y'all, this was harder than I thought because she kept moving. So now we're going to do your toes. Toes? Yep, we're about to do your toes. The how? With the same stuff. Your nasty toes. It my nasty toes. Yeah, your nasty toes. I just put my toes. <laughs> Here you go, my little stickers in my toes. Do I do stickers in my toes? Yes. So I am finally done doing Tazana's toes and nails. Show them. Show me toes. I try to show them to you guys, but the lighting is not that very good. And she keep moving her feet anyways. You like them? Yeah. But I think eventually, like, as I keep doing them, we'll, like, have it down pack. Oh, actually... Dire. I don't even feel like doing mods and I don't even think I have any glue in there to put my little rhinestones on there. I think I was just gonna put them like on the bottom. I'm tired. Um I'm supposed to be cooking dinner too, but honestly think I'm just gonna like chill for a few, get some energy. I might as well just chill and then if I do end up making dinner, because I was just planning to make some baked chicken. Baked chicken? It's my favorite um go to. And, or if not, I need to figure out if we're gonna get something before every before everything starts closing. So I'm gonna just chill for a few and try to get some energy guys.
Hey guys, excuse my loud oven, but I just took the food out the oven and I forgot to show you guys that I didn't end up cooking. I was just trying to get it over with because Susanna ended up falling asleep. So I was just like, yep, perfect time to start cooking. So I made some baked chicken like I told you guys. Literally just took it out the oven. Got some rice like always. And then I just have some corn and green beans mixed together. I'm gonna just go ahead and fix me a plate and chill for the rest of the night. I think I'm honestly gonna fall asleep because I do feel tired and it's a little early. So we might end up waking up early tomorrow if she doesn't wake up again. So good night guys. guys it's 4 17 in the afternoon i'm headed to see my mom real quick at the um, shop to get me and tazana a little tea and just chill with her because we haven't been going to visit her up here in a minute we usually come see her almost every day <laughs> Susanna, that's mine. That's mine. No. Yeah, we made it to my mom's. She's making me a little milkshake. Thank you, Mama. This shake is supposed to be a meal replacement. We haven't ate all day, so I just gonna make this as a meal well i haven't a tazana did so this is gonna be my little meal the cheers let me see the cheers it's yummy diola mama is real Mm, yummy, yummy. I don't think I ever seen Mama more glasses, but she so called herself needing glasses. Yeah, it's about to be my mama's birthday. My even fucking blend you. That's ready. Mm. In two weeks, my girl birthday no, you, is in you, two you. weeks. Toma se la una foto y dase la nana. Okay. Allá nana, dile. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Let me see, do it. Look at me. We are finally back home from visiting my mom. It's been like a couple hours. We're just gonna be chilling to be honest. I did wanna open up some packages for you guys. I am waiting on some other stuff. So I'ma just wait to show you guys in my next haul. I hockey wanted to go ahead and take these braids out. Cause I do plan to get a wig installed. So I kinda wanna like let my hair breathe for a few. I don't wanna like keep this in for too long. But I actually have an event that I'm supposed to be going to on the second which is in a few days so i think i'm gonna just wait until then 
because right now they still look good probably in like a four days they're probably gonna start getting like a little fuzzy at the top or whatnot so i'm gonna debate and see how they end up looking in a few days to see if i actually take them out or not i think i'm gonna bring you guys with me me and the girls are supposed to be going which i'll get into more details about that later on but for now i'm not gonna be doing anything so i think i'm just gonna talk to you guys until then i just posted my instagram pics from the other day that i brought you guys with me to um get some content and the girls is eating it up so make sure you guys go follow me on instagram because if you're not then what are you doing but anyways guys i'll talk to you guys later three days later hey guys as you guys can see i finally took my braids out i did do the avocado mask again i didn't do the routine where i like scrunch my hair up so that's why it looks like this because i'm actually about to um do my hair after i finish eating this food i made me some lunch i made me some spicy noodles with broccoli and egg and y'all this looks so good i really um fuck with these noodles to be honest i didn't add the whole pack of the sauce Mm-hmm. So it shouldn't be as spicy. So today actually it's Friday. I'm actually shooting some content today with my sisters. I'm doing a sister rates my outfits from Sheen. My package came in the mail the other day. Yeah, and excuse all this mess in my office. Like I be having too much stuff and I just don't be knowing where to put it, so I just be stuffing it right down on the shelves. So we plan to shoot around six ish. It's currently four o'clock. So I'm about to eat this and do my hair i'm gonna just do a ponytail but instead of just doing it in the middle i think i'm gonna try it like a little side ponytail you know how we used to wear our little ponytails to the side back in the day i want to try it like that you guys always be asking for us to rate my outfit so make sure to be on the lookout for that and then i told you guys that i had an event which is tomorrow it's a brunch event it starts at 11 it's from 11 to 2 but it's in greensboro me and all the girls are going it's like a vision board brunch if you guys know what vision boards are you create a poster with magazines and you just like cut out pictures phrases and stuff that kind of go with your big goals and little goals that you have for yourself for the year so that's what we're doing um the person that's hosting it is actually one of my teachers that i've been real close with and in touch since seventh grade and then since like we met we've always just been like close she called me her daughter if y'all see her or hear her that's what she's gonna like refer me as I actually posted her on my instagram and she was like calling me daughter and a lot of you guys were confused in my dm saying like is that your real mom because a lot of people actually say that we do look alike and it's kind of scary because i do see like the similarity in and each other like we actually kind of do resemble each other y'all gonna see her tomorrow but yeah a lot of you guys kept asking like is that really my real mom or me and the girls not really like if is this today not my real mom blah 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 guys no she's just she's like my second mom i've been on her since like i said seventh grade and she's just always been like a mentor i'll say in my life i mean i've been into like god and stuff but her parents own a church so when i met her in seventh grade she kind of always got me into like believing in god and his word and living you know like the right way when i go to service i actually go to their church she's actually like a motivational speaker like a woman's motivational speaker so i believe she'll be having like speakers as well at her event and i'll bring you guys along with me for that i'm pretty excited for that because me and the girls actually wanted to do a vision board like um back in january to like you know set off the year with a good start but i mean it's still early in the year so that's why i was like i want to come because i seen her post and i was like i want to come and she was like okay so yeah, that's the um, event that we're supposed to go to tomorrow. Just want to explain to you guys because it's so early in the morning. I know I'm probably not going to be like in the mood to give you guys like the whole rundown. So that's kind of good that I'm doing my hair today. So tomorrow, I'll just have to get up and like fix it a little bit. Do my makeup and get dressed. So once I finish this, I, I don't think I'm going to show you guys me doing my hair. I'm going to just come back when i'm all dressed and set up because my camera is literally dying anyway so i need to get some charge for the video that i'm about to shoot anyways hey guys so i'm done with my hair and i did the little side 
Pointy so as you guys can see. Hmm. Is it giving old school or what? I remember my mama used to do little side ponytails on us and I never really liked it. But I just wanted to try something different. I like it. I think I'm gonna leave it long. I was kind of debating if I should do it like a little short. But I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm about to run an errand real quick with Chi. Then I'm gonna come home and probably do like a quick glam and then set up and get the stuff set up which you guys can see the little sheen boxes right here and i will check in with you guys later all right y'all so i'm all glammed up just did something very light i'm about to try to go ahead and organize some outfits that i have in mind so i don't know if i'm gonna keep this on i think i'm gonna wear one of the chill outfits from the actual haul to start it off. I'm not sure yet. I'm just waiting on the girls. It's currently 6.45. We agreed to like six-ish, but y'all know we always running late. I literally just got done though, like getting situated. So I'm not really rushing. I'm just update you guys probably after I'm done shooting with the girls. Looking for a but she wear dark skin, purple hell. Never meeting nobody but this girl. Hey guys, so it's been a few hours later. We just got done shooting and I'm currently at McDonald's. I don't know if you guys can tell, trying to get some food. It is 10.30, it's 10.30 um, and clearly we're not cooking any dinner. And y'all, this line is packed. Literally, it is more cars behind me. I think, oh no, it's not. I'm lying, I'm lying. But it's still a long line, it's one, two, three, four. It's five cars ahead of me. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be sitting here for a minute. The video was good. I feel like a lot of the looks went cute because of my hair was done. So like I said, make sure you guys be on the lookout for that because I think that's gonna drop after this. That's why I really didn't want to do too much um, like behind the scenes of it and kind of like show you guys. Oh, the, all the pieces can be a surprise because all the pieces is cute. Y'all know how me and Anna Hall is becoming. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm getting some food. And then I'm gonna just go home and wipe my makeup off and basically do our little nighttime routine and get in bed. Cause tomorrow we have to wake up early for the brunch, like I mentioned to you guys. So I'm most likely just gonna talk to you guys tomorrow morning once I'm up and dressed. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I'm sorry about the look a little crazy, I still have to do mascara and my little lip combos but i just wanted to come talk to you guys and show you guys my outfit that i'm wearing so i'm gonna wear this green two-piece it's like flared bottoms and then i'm gonna wear my white gucci um slides i haven't worn these in a minute and then Susanna's coming with me so she's wearing these little pink flare pants with her pink skims shirt but i'm gonna go ahead and wake her up first and get her dressed so i can do her hair and we're actually all supposed to ride together when i get dressed i'm just waiting on the girls to come pick me up so we can head to the brunch hey y'all so oh my God. i'm already dressed I still have that six up <laughs> we're stopping at food line to get her some roses and probably some champagne to get what is it kind of like a Behave, yeah, for her event. So we're trying to see. I don't know what's some Would good. One of these? Yeah. One of the little bags. Which one's even more cuter to you? I like that one. This one? What is a good one? That pink one is cute. These wine or champagne? Oh, yeah, that is cute. Well, I didn't oh, probably know about champagne. All right, y'all, we found which one we going with. The pink Moscato. So now we about to go find roses. Let's see your fit. Feet, feet. Do a spin. Cute. <laughs> All right, we pulling up to the floral. What you, you getting like colorful? They only got one. Yeah, they got put a colorful. They got them little yellow, orangey roses, red roses. They kind of match the bag. Yeah. Oh, that one did. 
That one look more alive down there. Yeah, I've never one. Claudia like these little flowers, like the colorful ones. Alright, so we found the roses. We're about to check out. Hello. Is the house? We got okay. you something. Uh-uh, because I'm going to start crying. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Come on. <laughs> Things out specifically for 
a particular rights of people or background, I just put something up that's real. And if you show up as yourself, your imperfect self, mm -hmm. that is just doing the work and making the post and connecting with your audience consistently, the people just vibe with that. Yeah. Because it's really just, it's the vibe at the end of the day. It's the vibe. It's the vibe. Quality <laughs> photos are important. <laughs> you know, but I didn't start out like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's really the vibe. Yeah, my name is Tia Edwards. I was talking about support and encouragement and having a, a healthy, healthy growth, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's three things I'm just going to point out real quick to y'all. Right so the first thing, like when you're nurturing, you have to nurture yourself first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because how is it that we're going to care and support other people if we are not even taking care of ourselves? Yes. So I think of the mind, the body, and the soul. Mm -hmm. And I love acronyms, so I'm going to break it down what this cares means. So C is consistency, which we're going to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. Anything that you are operating in your area of influence, whatever that might be, events, boutiques, the candlestick maker, the photographer, whatever, right? You have to consistently produce whatever that is. You can't half do it, you have to always do it. And you have to set what your frequency is. Okay, next is A, authentic. We've already talked about that as well. Be authentic, but I want to take it a step further and be authentic in your relationships. Mm -hmm. um, social media has given us this fake permission slip that we know so many people, and we don't. Be authentic in relationships. Relationship building, excuse me, R. Repeat what works, whatever it might be. But whatever your weakness is, like we probably all have had uh, clothes on the bed for what, two weeks? Come on, <laughs> sleeping right next to them. <laughs> right? So, uh, whatever that might be, when you have the uh, capital to do so for your business or even for yourself, hire your weakness. You are able to consistently produce. Be authentic in relationships, repeat what works, execute in excellence. The S, you will have sustained success. Yes. Woo. My faith was built on my daddy's faith and not my own. Um, I always relied on how he prayed, mm -hmm. how he walked. That was my faith. And it took God to literally pluck me into Charleston, South Carolina, and say, now I'm going to teach you faith so that you can rely on me. Mm -hmm. And so it has definitely been a faith journey. One thing that I definitely want to say is he who has your ear has your future. Mm -hmm. And you will always have two voices. You will have the voice of the Father or you will have the voice of the adversary. It's who you ever, it's what you choose to listen to will help your path or really, or hurt your path or help your path. It was in 2014, I started my wardrobe styling business. In 2017, I opened my boutique. And God has just been blessing. He has just been flourishing so many different things. And it's funny now because the very person that told me I'd never make it, he stayed in my inbox. He stayed on my timeline. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at all this stuff you're doing. Oh, I gotta get you back to both of those side. Now you're about to watch that. <laughs> I don't care if you're a believer in here. Are you? I mean, I care if you're a believer. But if you're not a believer, I don't care because you're gonna become one. Because the more you hang around me, you gonna believe in this Savior, and you gonna know His His good works. Because everything that God does, He does perfectly well. You are not no mistake. I don't care who let you. If I sit here and talk about, I'm talking about just this week. I'm, I'm, I'm very transparent. I'm talking about just this week, what I had to overcome in my personal life. It's enough to make me throw in the towel, but I won't. And you got to get dogmatic about what God has you to do. Do you know you are here to save your family? There's another layer of promise that God has inside of you that I can't get because he's ordained it for you. I can't do what she does, I can't do what she does, I can't do it, I can't do what you do. Because what God put inside of you is not for me to do. But if you don't get to it, guess what? You're gonna waste that, you're gonna waste that goodness. Why are you gonna waste all that power God gave you? Sitting there looking at somebody else, wishing for what they have, when God is saying you can create the very wish. God is almost, he, you know how kids watch Aladdin, and Aladdin had three wishes? God is a wish, an endless wishing God. You can go to him because his wishes are making your request known. He answers his prayers. He answers what you ask him for. He gives you what you need. He sees your heart's desires. So when it's like, 
when you are pushing and when you're in a place where you're confused, when you're in a place where you can't figure it out, it's because you need to go back to the drawing board, which is your relationship with Jesus Christ. If you ain't never had one, it's okay. We can show you how to get one. But it's real simple. Every event that I have, I don't play about talking about the power of God because I am who I am because of who God is in my life. And I have overcame a lot of stuff. I don't talk about all the things that I've overcame because I feel like when you overcome, we are redeemed by the, the blood of the Lamb and the power of our testimony. What we say, I know when it's time to say certain things, but I feel very strongly in my spirit right now to encourage everybody to say, your testimony is nothing to be shameful for. Open up about what God has delivered you out of so that you can get delivered to where he wants to take you. It's big. It's big. Let me tell you about the, the first real sage. It was when God, when they presented frankincense and myrrh in the Bible. Everything you see is already been in the Bible. When you see people talking about affirmations, the Bible says that out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yes. He, the Bible already was talking about decreeing and declaring, opening up your mouth. Because the power is inside of your mouth. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like your situation, it's because it's of what you're speaking. Mm -hmm. Change what you're speaking. Mm -hmm. You want more money? Start saying, ain't nothing wrong with wanting more money. Right. Father, I thank you right now that you are opening up every avenue, every resource. You are using what's inside of me. You're giving me creative and witty ideas. Then you are sending the resources so that I can be financially free. You are showing me how to debt free my kingdom. You are showing me how to debt free my family. You are showing me how to increase my wealth. God, thank you that you are sending me the best kind of husband. Oh, he is so fine. And I think, you understand what I'm saying? God can handle that. You gotta see. Your kid is acting crazy. God, I thank you that, that he is acting just fine. That my kid, their mind lines up with the word of God. Thank you that I'm not gonna have to lose it on my kid, but you are gonna show me, God, how to parent my kid. Are my vision binder ahead? Words of affirmation, how I want to see myself, things that I would say to myself. Like for fitness goals, it has body types that I like, those kind of things. And then my prayer box is just things that I want. So you can add to this over the years, not just today. Add your requests as they come. If you want God, it's just your keepsake. Okay. okay? So basically, your vision binder is for you to see. You can make it any subject you want, how you want your life to look. If you're not married, how you want your marriage to look. If you are married, how you want your marriage to look. Your children, your home. Like, my mom was mad because I took one of the bags and she was like, the bathtub I want is in that bag. And then like, I said, well, tear it out so we can put it on, you know. So we can see it. So, but that's the key. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. about to try the cupcake. Look, it's so cute. All right. Test try. You gonna take the whole thing no. off? I don't really like the broccoli. It's good. I need Ashley, Alex, and Lori. Come on, we gotta take the Hey guys, so we are back from the brunch. We ended up um, going to the mall. Just do a little shopping. But anyways, 
we didn't really get to do the little um vision boards we was really just more so into like the speeches and the talks and then like some girls had questions and we they was just like trying to cover everything instead of a board she gave us like these binders because she felt like a board would have been too big for us to do at the moment but it just says girl get to purpose and then in the inside it has this folder it says unstoppable and then she just gave some like white sheets of paper we did get to grab some magazines but like i said we didn't really get to get to that good part but i think me and the girls are actually gonna set up a day for us to actually get into making the vision boards for us but i just got to do this one and i just really like like this group picture i just feel like it reminds me of like our sisterhood just like us always coming together and then it has like this little quote about being a boss that's really the vibe that the event was aiming for but i really loved it overall her, her name is alana um so i most likely tagged her already so go make sure you guys go check her out if you guys are all into like you know woman empowerment and all that just if you always feel like you need that push in life and if you're into like god just check her out because i feel like well to me she's always been like i said a good mentor and just a teacher in those areas in my life anyways we are home i really get to show you guys my outfit on so this is what it looks like guys just a two-piece pants crop top the bottoms were flared as you guys seen it's like this ribbed material so cute the top is like this little button up crop top it's just so freaking cute guys and this is actually one of the pieces for my haul so once again stay tuned for that and, and i just want to go ahead and close this vlog out i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and don't forget to follow me on instagram also don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl turn your post notifications on so you get notified when i post a new video because if you're not watching bad timmy then what are you doing nothing so make sure to subscribe with all of that being said i will see you guys in my next video which is very very soon so i love you guys bye yeah, bad bitch.